sorry, another video. <laughs> anyway, yeah, silly Andy, or whatever, molesting Andy, pedophile Andy, whatever, we'll just call him something silly. Andyite. <laughs> yeah, king of the Andyites. Um, whatever. Um, so he's still on this tyranny thing. And uh, so he used the line, Do the means justify the ends? Which again, then he's using Benatar's name, and Benatar said nothing about any of this whatsoever. Had no opinion regarding obliging anybody to think he was rational or reasonable or any of that. He made an argument in a book about the fact that he believes it to be unethical to have children. Period. That's it. The end of his book. And so this is just such uh, an abuse of uh, a literary figure, even. Uh, you know. Uh, it's just, it's just terrible, terrible abuse. Um, you know, put words in somebody's mouth like that. Um, anyway, but I certainly will deal with the argument. Um, there's no statement here about any kind of horrid means. What are the means? Oh yeah, that's right. You go through the democratic process, gain a majority, and implement social policy. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the means to the end. Um, and it's just as um, encumbrant on uh, uh, people's lives as any other of these judgments that have been imposed, these rules and regulations about conducting yourself. Um, and so, yes, yeah, perfectly within, within society's right to declare uh, these things to be self-evident, <laughs> you know, that uh, no imposition is worse than the reckless one of procreation or whatever the statement would be. But regardless, it doesn't matter. There's no means here that is horrific beyond the fact that you state you'll have to find something else to do with yourself than making babies, just like people currently have to find something else to do with themselves besides raping women or just punching people and taking what they want. We can't be real men in this society, not natural men. Uh, we can't um, have a harem that we control by uh, kicking them in the ass now and then. Uh, yeah, so these are the rules. Uh, yeah, you gotta live with them. Too bad, Charlie. Tough luck. Um, so it's a fair means anyway. Um, now when we get to the social contract thing, this is where it gets a little dicey and this is where it gets a little tyrannical. But um, the, the hypocrisy of these people is easily revealed. If we had a magic button, not red, just whatever, blue, um, and you could press it to dissolve anything, anything. You know, you could just get rid of anything you wanted to. A race of people, a kind of people, a religion, like you could just press the button and Mohammed would disappear from human knowledge. All existence of Mohammed would disappear, no more of it. And the people of the Middle East would automatically be converted into, you know, civilized agnostics. Would you press the button? Would you, would you grieve over the loss of an ignorant, fucktarded, moronic religion? I don't think so. What if it was pedophiles? What if you could just press the button and there's no more pedophilia? Nobody has an impulse, a sexual desire to, um, to gratify themselves through the use of a child. Uh, you're going to press the button? Are you going to impose the tyranny of denying the magnificent passions of the pedophile? <laughs> you will throw the passions of the pedophile in the crapper in exchange for what? Yes, yeah, something civilized, something reasonable, something decent. So I'm just saying, I'm sure, well, well you, even mother-in-laws, <laughs> you know, you can make all mother-in-laws moot, you know, really moot, they can't speak. You know, once a mother became a mother-in-law, yeah, let's say you break the laws of physics in a way. It's a magic blue button. How many people are going to press it and say, shit, yeah, okay, it's worth it. All right, the means will justify the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. The end will be justified. Uh, through the means. The means will be harmless and the end will be fantastic. Uh, we'll be liberated from Nazis. We'll be liberated from bigots. Just say, yeah, press the button and no more racists. Oh, what a tragedy. My, my. Um, so, yeah, the bullshit here is is that uh, these people, there's plenty of things they'd press the button for. They'd be tyrants plenty. So they have no right to use that word and point their finger unless they're going to point it right at them goddamn selves because they do the same goddamn thing once there was no more social contract. Uh, you know, 
and that's what the thought experiment of the red button is about a circumstance where the the social contract is now moot okay <laughs> there is no social contract there's just you and the ability to change the world and do you have certain enough knowledge to do that do you know it to be um, evil enough to press the button well I know a lot of things to be evil enough to press the damn button and I would press it and that's just my honest answer you want to call me a tyrant because I honestly answer a question fine but I say you're a fucking asshole if you do that uh, I think that's bullshit um, so anyway thought experiment remember again thought experiment not a real world experiment <sighs> But even like I said, if you could make it a real world experiment, uh, it's not going to change much. It's not going to change anything. Uh, it's just the nature of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good tree. Smell the tree. Yeah, that's a good tree. Anyway, um, uh, where was I? Yeah. So, so this is again. This is just. This is hypocrisy, duplicity. Uh, you know, three card Monty shell game bullshit. Let's try to make it look like you're not the crook when you're the crook. Uh, you know, he stole something more valuable than I stole. We stole the radio, he stole the TV. I mean, this is just bullshit. Um, this finger pointing when if you had the power, uh, if we put you on the old polygraph uh, and got some honest answers out of you. There's plenty of these things you'd be pressing. And the fact that you don't see the logic in this button doesn't mean that there aren't buttons that you would press that I would find obnoxious, that I would say is ludicrous. And of course, I'd be right because I'm a rational human being and you're an irrational liar. So that is a huge distinction. Um, I make fair, valid arguments. You make criminally slanderous arguments should be a crime anyway um, <laughs> yeah I mean really really is it's quite disgusting just quit using Benatar's name I mean it really is just so slimy of you uh, he wrote a book about one specific argument uh, the asymmetry the whole book is about that subject essentially and uh, deal with that argument uh, man you people are just disgusting um, so what else do I want to say? Yeah, I think I've said it. I mean, I could make more analogies. I could sit there and give you all these things that you would press the button for to get rid of, uh, that you would, the means of eliminating it instantaneously and painlessly would certainly be worth the ends of being liberated from the, the pox on civilization. You know, and there are poxes out there, um, no doubt about it. And there are circumstances too where I'd press a button just to have resolution. I'd press the button just to have one declared the winner and one declared the loser. I'd play Russian roulette just to get it over with, get the fight over with. You know, if it ever came to that, you have to have some sort of contest because you can't get along with each other. Well, yeah, you just put all the races in the hat and you just pick one. If we can't communicate with each other, well, let's put all the languages in a hat and pick one and just get this over with. You know, standardize, um, grab for some efficiency, uh, you know, do something to get rid of all this pointless and idiotic calm, uh, conflict and friction. Because, yeah, we're not working for the same thing. I'm working for sentient creatures on planet Earth. Obviously, you fuckers are living for something else. Why would I want to be part of the grease that makes your machine work? I want to be exactly the opposite. I want to be sand in the gears. I want to be a rock that breaks the whole fucking thing down. Why would I want to be a contributor? No, so I'll exercise what few legal rights I have to be as thorn in the side of your disgusting, evil, status quo, moronic uh, dystopia that you've endorsed as I can. You people just suck on so many levels. I mean, if I could abolish by pressing a button, uh, you know, the human race's relationship to alcohol, I'd certainly press that button. 
If I could abolish nicotine, I'd certainly press that button. There's so many buttons worth fucking pressing that the human race is engrandized. Your silly obsessions with your stupid sports and your goddamn celebrity crap. I mean, if you spent a little bit of that money and energy rewarding scientists and celebrating their contribution to your fucking life, uh, we'd have such a better civilization. We would have gotten so much further. But you're just a bunch of jackasses, a bunch of ignorant, stupid, idiotic morons that celebrate shit. You're shit eaters, shit makers. Uh, there's just nothing valuable in you at all. See, it always ends that way. You know, you just you start making the argument and just gets the odd more and more obvious. These people are just not even worth talking to. You people deserve nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because you just cheat the argument, you cheat the truth, you cheat fairness, you cheat honor, you have absolutely no uh, uh, character traits uh, of decency. You're indecent, um, shit eating, uh, crap puking monsters. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing good to say about you. Yep. Nothing at all. So the sooner you get yours, the better. The sooner, the sooner the human race gets a big fat asteroid up its ass, the better. Because we don't deserve any better. We didn't demand better from ourselves. We kept letting the assholes drive the bus. We kept saying, oh, well, we can't, can't impose on the rights of the jackasses to fuck everything up. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we can. Yeah, we should have. Yeah, we had a responsibility to. You can sense a little bit of that with Einstein. Einstein, you could see how he he had a real mixed feeling about this whole science thing and progress. Because he could see that if scientists aren't going to take the reins, if they're not going to take control, they're going to put a bunch of crap on that damn bus that the human race is driving, that these morons and retards are driving. And these stupid scientists are going to pile the bus full of this, this, this dystopia-making power. And that's all it's going to do. It's just going to make dystopia with it. Uh, because it doesn't have the fucking character and decency and sense and responsibility to do anything right. Because they're just a bunch of selfish assholes. I think there's lots of buttons Einstein would have pressed. Lots of buttons. So anyway, fuck you and your cheap shot. Fuck you and your your slander of uh, Benatar. Um, really, you are just such a despicable character. All you Andyites, you fucking liars, despicable liars. Anyway, till next time. Duplicitous liars. Yeah, it's redundant, but it sounds okay.